What is up, boys and girls? We're out here today at uh, White Hall here in uh, Richmond, Kentucky. Uh, this is a Finn's Lake. They recently stocked uh, 1,200 catfish in here. Um, a lot of people are saying they've stocked 1,200 pounds. Well, the fish and wildlife said no, they stocked 1,200 fish, not 1,200 pounds. They go buy per fish. So, don't know. I know some people have been out here catching fish. Um, my father and his cousins have been coming out here and catching fish. And everybody's been catching some channel cash to eat. So, I figured to uh, give it a try and see what happens. Stay tuned. See what happens. All right, our pose we'll be using today is we got a uh, Ambassador C3 uh, 6500. This is brand new. I just bought these last week. And the pole we're using is called a uh, Old Whiskers Catfish System. It is a uh, medium heavy action. But it is eight foot, two piece. Uh, I bought this strictly just for my catfishing. It's got a nice little catfish there on it. Awesome little pole. Uh, I have 25 pound big game. It's probably overkill for anything in here. We are using a seal. A seal? Sorry, I can't, you know. But anyways, uh, slip bobber. Uh, I've had this maybe, you know, a couple weeks and casted it maybe four or five times and it's already, look at that. I paid almost nine bucks for this floater and it's already trash. I mean, it still floats, still works, but, you know, I don't know. Then we have a little leader here and a little circle hook. It's a little eagle claw circle hook. Uh, I have a, these little beads here. I use these beads. A lot of people don't like using them. But I use this to protect my floater from coming up and damaging the bottom of the floater. And to keep my knots safe and keep the keep it from hitting the knots there and breaking my line. People don't understand how many times that uh, their sinker is actually the cause of breaking their line. Because if it revving up against your, uh, your knot here. So, I got maybe, I don't know, heck, maybe three or four inch, three or four inch uh, leader there, uh, 25. So, I just want to show you my outfit before we started fishing. So, let's get to fishing. First cast, I will be fishing roughly, I want to say about eight foot, nine foot deep. Starting out, I'm just going to throw it out as far as I can get it. Wow. You gotta love these uh, ambassadors. You gotta love them. They're just so smooth and so reliable. I'll let this sit there and soak for a little bit. I have never used cut up shad in a fence like before. So I have no idea what these farm raised fish will do. These are these are raised, farm raised catfish. Um, I was told they are a mitts breed. They are a hybrid catfish. They are mix between a bluefish and a channel cat and they said they grow a lot quicker and can get really big really quick they uh apparently did this for the fin lights to uh, get the fish bigger and quicker so we'll just see what happens today we're out here enjoying the beautiful weather and it looks like the game warden is already here i'm gonna make it his round i don't know if you can see if i'm pointing in the right direction which is a good thing because i've noticed a lot of people taking more than what they're supposed to and you know that's i mean come on guys don't break the, don't break the rules you're running for everybody so see you too. got one finally definitely don't feel like no monster i tell you that Oh, these little poles, though. Yeah, he's small. You can feel him. Oh, you know, real small. All right. First cat of the day. Check him out here. Nice old chan cat. Man, he is pretty. Look at that. <laughs> let's, talk to, let's do it talking to you. All right, I'm getting my hook here and uh, get him in the basket because I am keeping these for supper tonight. Nice. See if we can't catch another one. Let's see if he takes it. Got him. 
Oh, there, two fish within three minutes. Ooh, this is a nice one. A little bit bigger. Oh, yeah, this is a lot bigger than the last one. What we got, guys? I'm not joking, this is a pretty size fish. Ain't real big, but putting up a good fight. Not much bigger, but he's a little bit bigger. All right. Number two. Now that's quick. That's how I like my catfishing. If you can find the right bait and find the right depth, you can catch catfish like this all day long in these fins lakes. But keep in mind, you're only allowed four catfish per person. So don't be sitting there filling your basket with 20 or 30 of them and leave them for the game warden shows up. That ain't right. Nice. Let's put them in the basket and see if we can't catch another one. Feels like nothing huge. Got a little wait time, put up a good little fight. Biggest of the day. That's a nice one. Man. Oh, that one, guys. That would be the biggest one of the day so far. It's number three. All we need is one more. And we're limited out. And old dad will be going home cleaning him some fish, let him soak for a couple hours, and fry him up tonight. So we get this one unhooked in the basket, and we'll throw it out there again so we can't catch that fourth one. Like we got another runner already. So will take it. I can feel him on the line right now. I can feel him on the line going peck, peck, peck. That's why you'll see when I'm catfishing, my thumb is always on the line above the reel because I can feel him pecking on it. Oh, peck. Come on. Another nice one. Ooh. It's a fighter. So I can get that rod action in it. go look at that one that's another nice one another nice one well guys. all right boys and girls that's gonna be it for today we ended up with four nice channel cats uh, i want to say a pound to two pounds uh, the biggest one may be closest to two pounds i highly doubt that it. it's two pounds but uh we caught every one of those fish on shad everyone on shad all the other bait never got a bite so just go to show you sometimes you have to um, use natural baits to catch your fish you know sometimes the homemade tricks don't work sometimes you just need the natural bait so with that said be on the lookout for the next video because we're going to go to another fence lake and see if we can't repeat this at another lake with the same baits same pose and just see what happens we'll be in uh lexington here soon Lexington, kentucky at another fence lake called jacobson's park and we're going to try our look there and there is some uh, pretty good sized flatheads in there 
Uh, there are some big blues. I've been fishing there since I was a kid, personally, since five years old. And I know there are some big fish in there, but we're going to see. We're going to take some shad up there. Dead shad, not alive. You're not allowed to use live shad. And we're going to burn and just see what happens. So, if you guys like this kind of video, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for joining the channel. Uh, we're going to have a lot more videos like this here that we had today come in the future it's just when weather's permitting i'll fish you know i can't i don't want to take this camera out and get it all wet you know what it is waterproof i don't want to ruin the equipment you know but uh i'm in this video here today and i'll hurt you boys and girls later bye